in this world that we live in, there are over 10,000 species of birds. Some of them we would always call beautiful, and others we wouldn't be very inclined to say that. Then there are some that are just downright awkward. The Ripple's Weaver would have to be one of those birds. You can find these birds in parts of Africa and the Middle East, but there is a chance you might see one somewhere else, because the male's stunning plumage could make it a cage bird. It eats insects, but you might see one picking at some leaf tendrils. Don't be fooled by this. It's not actually eating. We'll get to what that is a little later. Here you can see both a male on the left and a female on the right. The male is in his best colors of the year. Brilliant canary yellow with a contrasting black face, which he loses during the off-season. The female, meanwhile, is a lot more drab. So drab, in fact, you might confuse it for a female house sparrow. But indeed, the bird itself as a species is very unusual. Listen here for the amusing call note. Funnily enough, in this species, the males seem a lot louder than the females. During the breeding season, the males make a much more beautiful and complicated noise. Their song, of course. When two males meet, you can bet that there's going to be a showdown. Here you can see they're not letting each other out of their sights, even though that they only come down to the lawn to feed. They're not focused on feeding at all. They're very distrustful birds. For some reason, wing flicking is part of their aggressive repertoire as well. Sometimes these standoffs last for minutes on end. And then, and then there's the there's feature that sets that really weavers apart from other birds, the nest. Can you believe that this bird put together with no other tool than his own beak? Imagine creating a nest like this, gourd-shaped, with just your thumb and forefinger. It's truly a tribute to the versatility of the beak. Even if it's not adding new material, maintenance is an essential part of building the nest. This time, the male weaver has brought some material. Look at how it weaves it into the inside of the nest. It's amazing how the weavers are able to do this, as none of this is taught. They all just know it at birth. You can see that some grass stalks are older and drier than others. This is all done in a specific order. Eventually, the females will inspect the completed nests and choose the ones they favor. They will then share the nest maintaining duties and will raise the next generation of these weird and wonderful birds. Thanks for watching.